Hello, welcome to Binding of Isaac Daily. And we're playing as Judas today, and we'll see how well we can do. Let me uh, fix the HUD a little. I was playing around with the with the settings a little bit, but now let's get into the game. So we'll do the daily, and we'll see how well we can do. Judas is a risky character in the beginning. Very easy to die on an early floor. Get a low uh, daily score just because of that. But we seem to be handling this room fine. A free penny. So the first floor is always the most important as Judas. It's so easy to die. I'm gonna open it, be a little risky, and it paid off well. Very well. Ten cents this early is great. Well, let's just hope we can stay alive to use it. We should be finding the boss battle right about now. We got Book of Belial for it. I don't know if that will hurt me, so I'm just going to wait. There we go. And let's hope it's a monstro. Easy boss. Alright, let's not get hit. Monster is one of the easiest bosses in the game, but we can always still take a dumb hit. No. no problem, no problem. There you go, what an easy boss. What does it give us? Squeezy is amazing, especially because of spirit hearts. And let's go, let's try. It's worth it, especially on a daily. We gotta find something special to put us ahead. So we're gonna go back and check this curse room. Please be something amazing, and it's shit. Well, that was a waste. You know, you win some, you lose some. At least we have 10 cents and a spear heart left. We should be able to get a deal next floor easily. I'd say the second room's right there. Wow. That's really amazing, actually. I guess watching enough of this game and it pays off. It's easy to spot the secret rooms. An arcade isn't exactly what we wanted. We'll be back for that. I hate spiders. Alright, no problem, no problem. I have five bombs, so why not? I'll get that on the way back. Petrified poop. That's amazing this early. Let's be a little diligent. And a free spirit art. Hopefully we can get six more cents and make our shop worth it. But we'll be back. Maybe that might even be a secret. Room. Nope. Which I wasn't paying attention. Oh, so careless. But it's alright, we're fine, we're fine. This is still a great start as Judas. Judas can be really good as long as you can get off the start without dying to a champion or a boss. And you know, we're gonna keep being risky. We did it on the last floor, why not do it on this floor? It was alright. Not necessarily worth it, but. Ah, a key! That will get us into our item room. So definitely worth it. And here's our item room. We need a good item here. Preferably just more damage. Ooh, Dry Baby. I like Dry Baby. He, especially at the later bosses, like, oh, we're only going to mom. But especially at the Bullet Heli later bosses, he is... A lot of help getting damage done. Ooh, perfect. Alright, we're gonna go back to the shop. After we fight the boss. And it's... Alright, Fistula's not that bad. If you can just not get hit by the swarms. Good thing we have multiple spear hearts. 
And let's see how good this deal with the devil is. Give me something good. Oh, Mr. Dolly just as good. Come on, give me something good. Neither of these are good. I'm going to take the nail, though. Give me invincibility later, maybe. And just gives me a spirit heart every six rooms. It's worth it. Let's see if the shop has anything worth wild. Fanny pack, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's head on out of here. Petrified poop's still worth it right now. Right now. But we may want to get rid of it later. But not bad for floors. The nail is basically a free HP with Book of Belial. You just get it twice as long. There's a lot of options here. I hate the Drowned Deaths. I think almost every round I play, I get at least one Drowned Deaths. You don't always get Burning, burning Basement, but I definitely almost always get Drowned Deaths. i just like to give it to you. Oh, it's just one single floor. Oh, yeah, that was really bad play of me not using. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot again. Alright, let's be more careful. Let's be really careful. We took some dumb damage. Eh, we took about the same amount of dumb damage we used. From the nail for a key basically that's not really worth it that's all right we're still in a good position let's just stop taking dumb damage dry baby has yet to help <laughs> it makes me regret saying i like him ah don't take dumb damage will nice is always good. How did that hit me? Alright. Oh, there's more of them. There we go. I hate this room. I think these are one of my least favorite enemies. These and the blue guys that summon them are my least favorite enemies. Her throw, though. It's so good, but it's not the best. That's fine, we'll take it. We'll take it, and we're gonna be even a little risky again. Why not keep it going? Really? Can't believe it did it, but it paid off, it paid off. That was still so dumb of me. Let's check here real quick. Oh, we already have the first secret room. And the second one's gotta be not here. The second one's gotta be there. It's probably right down here. Oh well. Pestilence. Not that bad except for his explosions in the beginning. Just gotta get Pestilence through his first phase of bullshit. Which we did. You know, on a tight room, an enemy that summons bombs is the worst thing to fight. But we got a cube of meat, which is always helpful. And we're down the next floor. We're making great time, too. Oh, only three floors left. I forgot these dailies don't go all the way down. Unless we find, as I know other people like to call it, a seam down to the next floor. Does seam come from like quantum mechanics? Like a seam through to a multiple universe where you just need to find the crack? I think that's where the idea comes, but we need one of those down to the later floors. Usually the people that get high scores on these are people that get past the floor limit and get extra points. So we're gonna need a shovel or a rune. 
We'll take this just for the spirit heart. And we'll go fight this. Why not? It's points. Range down. Not that bad. I hate freaking this guy. I, ah! He's one of the enemies that I most regularly take the most dumb damage on. Just because of these stupid peepers. Yeah. This ain't going so well. You get too impatient. You gotta be more patient with bosses. But there we go, we got a little payback. And Chubb is faster than I expected, oh my gosh. Holy crap. He's chasing me down way faster than I remember. This must be a super fast champion version. But we're gonna make it out of here, no problem. But we just gotta start playing a lot better. Taking a lot less dumb damage. Alright, let's keep going. That's why I like dry baby so much. Did I not go in here? Oh, let's use this. Calm and cool. I like poison damage personally. It's one of the best tier effects. But it's a lot better if you can get constant uh, poison damage. It's not worth it right now. Maybe an HP upgrade would be so appreciated. Yes! Exactly what I wanted. Now if we could only get the shovel on our deal with the devil, we'd be set for the next few floors. The other important thing to do on these kinds of runs is make sure you make boss rush. Because if you're going to end it here, you need those boss rush points. Or you're just way below. So we want to... Make sure we're getting down on time. We have the mine now, so we can check all secret rooms. That will give us a way better chance of getting a rune to help us get down to the next floor. I hate you, ponies. Nice. Nice. Oh, don't tell me that's what goodie packed. Oh, I think I might have messed up early. Fanny pack replaces all runes with pills. I forgot what does that. And it might be fanny pack. Alright, dude. Stop spazzing out. Hey! Thanks. That was greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. It saves me a free bomb and I almost get hit. Come on. Rules card. Why would I want a rules card? It's most likely... Oh, it's my yield. Oh, thank you. Thank you, rules card. I wonder if anyone's actually used the rules card for its intended purpose. To give you hints. Most likely if you come into this game not knowing anything. I'm gonna be a little impatient. I won the fatal flaw. Alright, we're doing good. Don't be too impatient though. Oh, he's so strong. I don't think that really makes sense. His body would have to be so much bigger just to have a gravitational pull. But that's fine. How did no deal? Why no deal? I never took red heart damage. That's a little suspicious. But maybe it's just setting it up to give me a nice shovel in this offset deal with the devil. When you weren't expecting. Come on. You know, I'm not the best at this game, but I think I've gotten better over time. 
learned a lot of tricks from watching other people play. And I enjoy this game. I enjoy getting the different items. I enjoy the different types of runs you can get. I hate when the runs are very bad though. I gotta learn to accept all runs. This one's going alright though. I can't really tell if it's super good or not. It seems to be alright right now. We'll see how it is going into these last two floors. Uh, I will be hard pressed for boss rush. Come on, yes. Great work. And I'm too lazy to run all the way over there. But our defense is looking in great shape compared to what I squandered it to. And we want to try to be off this floor by like 17 minutes about. Because again, if we're not going to make it down to later floors, boss rush is all that matters. And we got that card, be a teleport card. Not bad, not bad. How did I actually get hit by that guy? Come on. I don't have all day. Thank you. Oh. I'm the world's smartest man. I knew that bomb was probably going to go off, but I still tried to push it out. Okay, I don't like how I phased through that bomb, though. That, that was definitely not realistic. I know I was on top of it when I placed it, but you should be able to still touch it if you move a little. Um, perfect, perfect. Bumbo, you can have all this, you can have all this money that was in the room I got you on. I don't think that could have been better. And you got first level out of it. I don't think that could have gone better. Oh, no, you did not just do that. Alright. We got Monstro 2. Alright. The Hermit. I wouldn't want to escape Boss Rush. So I might use it this floor. Sorry, just concentrating a little. Um, what's his name? Monstro 2 is one of my least favorite bosses to fight. I always seem to get hit by his bullshit. Ah, oh, these are both great items, but neither of them are what I want. I'm just gonna get. All right, please don't fuck me over. There you go. I suck at this. I'm playing on controller right now and I always mess that up. You know, why not be ballsy? Yeah, I deserve that. I deserve that a lot. Ooh! Ooh! -ho -ho. Yeah. Great, great, great haul. And I mean, if I'm not going to be able to get past the next floor, I better be able to beat Boss Rush and get to it on time. Alright, we're going to start hurrying. Please don't give me a curse so I can find the find that boss room fast. So it's going to be a real close call. Ooh, items room close. I'm going for it. Something good. A quarter. Why would I want to range down? Alright, we're gonna be on a hurry now. Whoa. We're okay, we're okay. We're 
We're doing great. We're doing great. Alright, I rushed a little too fast. We have plenty of time. How did that hit me? There you go. There we go. Alright, I'll be back. This is probably our secret room. That will have the... Uh... It did not. That's fine. That's... Don't tell me a relax game. Who said you could... Oh, I kept... That's all. That's too far. Wow, alright. What did I get hit by there? Alright, I don't even know what I was just getting hit by, but let's go do this. I have the... What's it called? Playing so bad. Alright. Once I just got it started, I'm in the handle this fine now. Mom's knife doing great amount of damage. Every three waves I get a XP. So, this is not gonna be too bad. Just wish I could go past this floor. Who knows? Maybe I'll get. Um, what's the item? Unknown. And it will, on the first try, send me to the. Send me to the air room. So, there's still a possibility. Even though it's not high. I mean, that secret room was my last hope. It had nothing good, so. This is probably where our uh, run ends. But we got here fast. We made all the way down. We got boss rush. Boss rush. Ugh. So our score shouldn't be that bad. We meet again. You died a lot faster this time. I don't like how Headless Horseman is just pestilence, but with an annoying head. <laughs> I guess it no flies. Of course, our war was easy. I think that was a glitch. Alright, this is probably the worst part about Mom's Night. All the small enemies. I move super quick. Yeah, and I deserve that hit. Bumble leveled up though. Look at that. I think that's why Turdy Touch was a good choice. Oh, back up. That's what I was waiting for. That was easy. You gotta send more than that at me, game. Oh yeah. I'm not even paying attention anymore. I've not been paying attention to the nail this whole time. That's alright. This is still being done easily. I should. It gives me extra item points. And we just have to finish a few more waves. Try to take as least damage as we can. There. I used it. But I got hit, so it didn't matter. That was easy. Just let him come to me. Bumbo, you gotta move! Bumbo, don't just stand there. Please, Bumbo. Thank you. That's exactly why you take dry, baby. I won't say he's a run winner, but he uh, makes my life easier. That's for sure. Tears up. You know, not that amazing this late in the game, but thank you. I'll take it. Wow. We got Ipecac. Well, I'm going to use Ipecac for the next five seconds. Until I touch this trophy and win the game. Alright! Hey! Did we at least hit a thousand? 
we were 892. Not bad. I'd like to keep under a thousand most of the day.